It's world renowned and it's actually a really beautiful town. I like mine with a, a little dash of lemon. Not very elegant, but it tastes delicious. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to Sean's World. Now in this video, I have driven up to my daughter's from Normandy to Brittany. She's gonna take me out for the day. I don't know where we're going. Uh, she said it's gonna be a surprise. Oh, she's just opened the door and here she is now. Hello, all right, are you ready to go? Yeah, where are you taking your old dad today? Well, we're gonna go up on the coast. Okay. Um, it's a lovely day, I think it's a bit colder up there. Yeah. But have you got a coat with you? Yeah, I've got me coat, I've got yeah. me bucket and spade. <laughs> <laughs> got a few uh, surprises in store oh, today, so I can't wait. Get going. Yeah, take take me. Just go, 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 go. go. <laughs> but before we head off, we're going to get ourselves a little picnic. That's what we got. We was nearly good. We got some crisps and of course cheese and baguettes. Oh, that's at least one of our five a day. Yeah. We got some strawberries. Oh. No, we've got orange in the biscuit, so that's another <laughs> one of our five a day. Right. Let's get going. So what do you think, picnic first and then we'll go for a walk? Definitely picnic first. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to keep your energy levels up. <laughs> like I say, an army marches on its stomach. And what a backdrop to eat our lovely picnic. Don't we take you to the best places? Ooh, look at these fresh oysters. How beautiful, I was just going to say how quiet it is and it really is quiet, very tranquil and then someone over on the edge of the pier is playing an accordion. We can hear him from here can't we? just we? hear it, it's like a sea shanty. Oh that's <laughs> someone's ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a she's, I can't even say it. <laughs> she sells that's seashells on the seashore. Easy for you to say. That's before, sea shanty. That's before wine o'clock as well. <laughs> a sea shanty is going on in the background and a minute ago it was dead quiet that's all you could hear. Very eerie, but very nice. There it goes. We're being lured down to the end of the pier by the music, drawing us down. Let's go and see. There's nothing quite like it. Sea air makes you really feel alive. It does, it's lovely. Good for the soul as well. So what I thought we could do today is just have a little walk around, have a look at the lovely town of Cancao, and then we could go get some oysters. Oh, if, if, we you, if we must. If you can see that little sort of pontoon over there, yeah. there should be a lot of little um, vans yeah. that each individually sell oysters, and there's also another van there normally that sells wine. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll have some of that then. Yeah. shanties. Sorry about the dancing, <laughs> couldn't help myself. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. This looks like an oyster catcher. Now Cancal is world renowned for its 
oysters. Yeah, one of the French kings used to have all of his oysters and seafood imported from here. But um, it's world renowned and it's actually a really beautiful town. And it's for very good reason because they are delicious. Yes. And we're going to be sampling some very shortly. Hopefully. We're going to get some light refreshments. I think I might have to squeeze in a wine now. So typically you're meant to get a glass of white wine for the oysters because it goes together but we actually ended up getting cider didn't we? Yeah I think it's cider. It yeah. goes perfectly well with oysters. Yep. If it doesn't, he'll be the first to know about it. <laughs> and around the corner here is where we get the oysters. So there's a little yes. square of I independent sellers. So we've got our oysters, now we are sitting on the steps of the beach and one of the traditions is that once you're done with your oyster shells you throw them down there and they just kind of turn into sand really and then these little birds come along and eat all the oysters up. Are you ready to yes, eat? Yes I am, before they come and eat mine. <laughs> Let's do it. Now another important factor when you're picking oysters is get them from a very good source. Always eat them in season and when you pick them, if you can, get zero zero and that is the top grade oyster. And that is what we've got. So they're a lot larger, plenty more to eat. I like mine with a, a little dash of lemon, sometimes Tabasco. And then, excuse me, but it goes down the hatch. Not very elegant, but it tastes delicious. <laughs> Thank you. 